Hello everyone, welcome to the SQRT channel. In this video, we are going to take a super interesting problem from Harvard MIT Mass Tournament from 2021. This problem came from God's Round. Let's see what the problem is first and then we are going to deep dive into the solution. The problem is kind of easy to understand. We have integers a, b, c, and d between 0 and 9 including those numbers. We have three equations as you see here and we want to find 1000 times a plus 100 times b plus 10 times c plus d. Let's see how we are going to solve this problem. Let's take another look at the problem because there is something interesting here. What we are going to find is 1000 times a plus 100 times b plus 10 times c plus d. Basically, we are going to assume that a, b, and c and d are digits of a four digit number and we want to find that number. Based on that, we know that a, b, c, and d are integers greater than 0 and less than 9 and everything makes sense here. Let's see how we are going to solve it now. To solve this, I'm going to start with using a, b, c, d as the digits of a four digit number as we discussed. Now let's move forward and take some actions. If you take a look at the first equation, you are going to realize that we basically find the remainder of the four digit number if we divide it by 7. 88 divided by 7 results in 4 for its remainder. So we are going to simplify that and now we have one equation to keep. The second equation is kind of familiar. We have a minus b plus c minus d. This is basically the remainder of a four digit number if we divide it by 11. So we are going to use that fact and then write a minus b plus c minus d is going to be negative six. So the remainder of the four digit number is basically is going to be six if we divide it by 11. For the third equation, we are going to use a similar approach, but this time it's the remainder if we divide it by 13. Since 46 is greater than 13, we are going to find its remainder as well, and it's going to be seven here. Now we have these three equations. We have the remainder of the four digit number if we divide it by seven, 11, and 13, and we are going to use these equations to find the number itself. To solve this, I'm going to use the Chinese remainder theorem. Let's assume that we have co-prime positive integers n1, n2, up to nk. They are pairwise co-prime, and we have arbitrary integers a1 up to ak. Now we have a system of equations. This system of equation is going to have a solution, a unique solution, modulo, n equals to the multiplication of all these n1, n2 up to nk. Let's see how we're going to use it to solve the problem here. Here we have the remainder for 7, 11, and 13. 7, 11, and 13 are pairwise co-prime. So we are going to find the remainder of the four digit number that we are looking for if we divide it by 7 times 11 times 13. If you calculate 7 times 11 times 13, you're going to end up with 1001. Now we need to find the remainder of the four digit number if we divide it by 1001, based on the Chinese remainder theorem. I'm going to do it in several steps. We have three modulo. 7, 11, and 13. The value that I'm looking for, let's assume that it's m. I'm going to write it as a summation of three terms. Now, let's continue. I'm going to solve this problem in several steps. First, let's focus on modulo 7. 
to be able to remove the second term and the third term when I calculate modulus 7 I'm going to add a multiplicative term as 7 for those two terms now I'm going to continue but this time for modulus 11 to be able to remove the first and the third terms I'm going to add a multiplicative terms as multiplied by 11 for those terms and then I'm going to just have 11 for the first term 7 for the second term and 7 times 11 for the third term now I have modulo 13 to focus on I'm going to use the same thing I'm going to remove the first term and the second term by adding a multiplicative term as multiplied by 13 and I'm going to keep whatever I have for the third term by now I have 11 times 13 for the first term, 7 by 13 for the second term, and 7 by 11 for the third term. Now I need to verify everything is alright. I'm going to do that by first starting to find the modulo 7 of the number that I found. If you do this, you're going to see that the second and the third terms are going to be removed. But for the first term, instead of having 4 for its remainder, I'm going to have 3. Now the next step is going to find a new multiplicative term that if I use for the first term only, I'm going to end up with 4 instead of 3. If you just start with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and then you will see that adding a multiplicative term for multiplied by 6 to the first term I'm going to end up with what I need as 4 here. Now I'm going to check if everything is all right for modulo 11. If I do this, the first term and the third terms are going to be removed. However, for the second term, instead of having 6, I just have 3. So I'm going to multiply that by 2 to be able to have 6 instead of 3. Now I'm going to focus on the last term, which is basically modulo 13. If I do this, the first term and the second terms are going to be removed. For the last term, I have 7 times 11 or 77. If I find its remainder, it's going to be 12. But I'm looking for 7. So I need to multiply this by 6 to be able to have 7 for its remainder. Now I have everything that I needed to have. I have 11 times 13 times 6 plus 7 times 13 times 2 plus 7 times 11 times 6. If you evaluate it, you are going to end up with 1502. Now remember, I wanted to find the remainder of this four digit number if I divide it by 1001. Since 1502 is greater than 1001, I'm going to find its real remainder, which is going to be 501. So at the end, the four digit number that I have is going to be 501 plus 1001 times an integer like k. Now we need to find k. We know that the four digit number is going to be between 1000 and 9999, including those numbers. So if we just evaluate the expression, you will see that k is going to be 0, 1, 2, up to 9. Starting from 0 and then trying to see which one is going to satisfy the three equations that we had from the problem, you will see that we are going to end up with k equal to 6. Since k is 6, we are going to find the four digit number as 6 times 1001 plus 501, which results in 6507 for the number that we were looking for. Thanks for watching the video. If you would like to see more puzzles and math problems from different competitions, please subscribe to this channel. This is the SQRT channel and I hope to see you in the next video.